there have been a lot of advances, tremendous advances in our understanding of the cellular and molecular biology of cancer, uh, advances in um, drug development, and also new advances in uh, modeling, genet genetically engineering mouse models. And so it's a great time to bring all of these different aspects together so that we can tackle some of the toughest questions in cancer biology using these models. It really is a critical meeting because of the major advances in this particular area and there haven't been an opportunity to collate these areas. Uh, we uh, came together as a group because we're all very complementary in terms of our expertise. We work really well together. We have a similar focus on, you know, advancing excellence. Uh, Katie and I uh, know each other for a long time, and we actually co-edited a book together on mouse models. Uh, Julian Sage is a professor at uh, Stanford. He's very well known for his work on small cell lung cancer, mm -hmm. and also for really being. Um, really being someone who drives technology and also brings together the connection with biology. I think, and Kevin uh, Hagis is at, at Harvard now and he has specialties colon cancer uh, and he's just been a really major driver of bringing together the, you know, the uh, use of using mouse models, being able to identify um, pathways that uh, connect with human cancer. So we're a very complementary team. We're extremely well together. And um, I think we put together a tremendous uh, meeting and it reflects how well and effectively we work together as a team, yeah. right? So this meeting is, I think, going to be really focused on CRISPR editing, gene editing, and how it has just revolutionized our ability to develop uh, genetically engineered mouse models much more rapidly much more sophisticated models, models that are much more representative of the human cancers they're trying to emulate. I think another important uh, feature of the meeting, which is going to come uh, to, to be a, f a major focus of the meeting, is going to be what we really need, where we need to be going in the future in terms of building models that are going to be valuable for immunotherapy and for really testing, you know, more modern drugs, more modern agents. Um, and so I think it's going to highlight those new technologies and also have emphasized where we really need to be in the future. With all of these new tools and with these better models, we really can start to dig deep into studying things like cancer immunology, like studying metastatic progression of tumors, studying drug resistance. And these are really major problems in cancer biology. And you really need to be able to study them in a whole organisms where you have all the interactions of all the different cell types and all of the signals that are happening between a cancer cell, an immune cell, and the blood vessels, for example. And so, so we can really leverage that right now and, and, and use that. There's also the opportunity to use genomics approaches to be able to get at the molecular level what's happening in the context of the whole organism, but also at the context of the molecular mechanisms that are driving these events. So bringing all of this together is really what's most exciting now. So these meetings are absolutely essential. First of all, they bring young people together with senior colleagues so that they can learn and from the senior colleagues have a chance to meet them. Um, it brings senior colleagues together to, to make collaborative interactions and uh, to really see what others are doing. This is really, really valuable and I chose my future path based on, I, I'm sure it was an ACR meeting on transcription way back when. Um, and so I think these meetings are, you know, absolutely critical. All the meeting organizers in this particular conference are all doing work that's very translatable, um, that really impacts, um, uh, really will impact uh, patient care. And I think that increasingly now, as scientists, we are also connected to clinicians. Mm -hmm. So some of the experiments that we do that are directly relevant to what's happening in the clinic, we talk about them to our colleagues who see patients with, with whatever disease, whatever cancer we're studying. And so that really means that some of the research that we're doing then can move into clinical trials and eventually um, impact patient care directly.